So welcome back to 180 Life. And once again, the purpose of these videos and these lessons are those that I've learned from others, but I'm hoping that they are going to be informative and inspirational to you as they have for me. So one of the topics that we're going to discuss today is mindset. In fact, it was a conversation I was just recently having with my oldest son and explained to him that, you know, so much of our success and our happiness is based on just right here, you know, what's going on in our mind. And when you think about it, anything could be happening externally in our life. But as long as we have you know, peace and happiness within, you know, it's all that matters. Because you can have all the beauties outside, and if you're not happy within, then you're just simply not happy. And I also believe that, you know, having a happy attitude and um, expectations and positive mindset is what helps and supports attracting more of that into our life. And as I was explaining to my son Skylar, you know, it doesn't happen easy. You know, it's one of those things, it's like, mindset is like working a muscle. It's like going to the gym. It's like keeping physically fit. You know, we have to also keep spiritually fit and we have to keep mentally fit. And it's so incredibly important. I wish it was as simple as like going to the gym one time working out once, and then you're in phenomenal shape for the rest of your life. It just, it doesn't happen. And it's the same of working on our mind. And so what are those, some of those things that we need to do to keep a positive mindset, to be in a happy space, you know, in, in, within ourself? And again, I've learned this from others is, you know, what are we feeding our mind? What are we feeding ourselves? You know, what are we reading? That's an important, what are you watching? If you're watching this, you know, you're clearly someone that has exhibited a desire to improve upon themselves, and that's phenomenal. You know, it's like one of the things I love when I attend seminars with others, like, you know, I've, I put myself through uh, Tony Robbins Master University, all of his seminars I attended. And what one of the greatest things about the benefits of going to those events is like the people that you surround yourself with are just, you know, there are high vibrational people that are also on the path of wanting to improve upon themselves. So it's, it's reading the right stuff, you know, reading, like for me, uh, the books that I either read about are self-help, a lot from Wayne Dyer, love his stuff, um, Eckhart Tolle, Tony Robbins, of course, Brian Tracy, uh, most most uh, currently Gabriel or Gabrielle Bernstein, you know. So I'm constantly like drinking that stuff up, just saturating myself with positive uh, books, and also, of course, on on finances, physical health, all those things that are going to make me a better person. I'm constantly trying to teach myself from others that are experts in that field, and I would highly encourage you to do the same. And one of the uh, the great helpful hints that I learned from Brian Tracy, who's by the way also a great author, and our audios. You know, he presented once that, hey, if you take the time, and, and, and by the way, time management and blocking out time is another segment I'll have it. If you take the time and, and use the time of when we're driving, you know, rather than just listening to music or God forbid texting, you know, or, or useless conversations with people, but use that time that we're in the car, which for most of us is a great deal of time, and listen to audios that are gonna teach us to be better people. He goes, You're, you can almost put yourself through uni a university, a four year college degree with all the audio time that we can use when we're driving or if we're working out and jogging. And it's not to say, don't have fun and listen to music as well, because I do. But a lot of the time I'm in the car, I have some audio going on that's teaching, my, teaching me something. So uh, there's reading, there's audio, there's also our environment. And this is, in my opinion, so critical. An environment, I break it down to two parts. It's not only our physical surroundings, keeping an orderly home, keeping an orderly bedroom, keeping an orderly office and car. You know, for me, when I'm in a, you know, when it's dirty or disorganized, 
for some reason, my mind seems disorganized. My life seems disorganized. So I believe the environment is so important that we put ourselves in. I think it also on a subconscious level, when we have all of our stuff in order, for me, my life seems to be more in order. And the other part as far as environment are the friends, the people that we surround ourselves with is so critical. You know, I had a background when I was a teenager of being, you know, heavily in the drug scene and all the people that were in my life were only people that did hard drugs with me. And as I broke away and changed that life, you know, one of the things that I had to look at, and I didn't want to do this, what was start disassociating myself from, you know, my posse of friends, you know, my group of people that I hung out with. And we did have some fun times together, but we also had a lot of ugly times together and they were on a different path than I was. I wanted to, all of a sudden, I luckily, and I thank God all the time, I had a change in, and what I wanted from my life. I didn't want it to be a train wreck anymore. I wanted to better my life. And I started surrounding myself with people that were like-minded, that they too wanted to better themselves. And it's so important to be around and surround yourself with people like that. And once again, it's sometimes tough to do to let go of the people that you love and that you like, but they're just not supporting you and being the best person that you can be. And I believe it's, it's really, really important for once again, our mindset is surrounding yourself with some good people that are supporting and inspiring you or teaching you. And then last on the topic of mindset, those silly things that we've heard about. And I, I remember hearing about doing affirmations. Of course, you know, Tony Robbins, that's a, a, a big tool that, or an important tool that he, you know, suggests that we do. But you know what, they actually work. As crazy and as silly as they are, they, they actually work. The positive affirmations that, you know, at one time in my life, I, I had this affirmations partner and we spoke to each other every single day at 5 a.m. His name is Bill Pipes. And he and I, every morning, would not just say our affirmations to each other, we'd actually yell the affirmations to each other over the phone. And again, it's kind of silly, but it would <laughs> obviously wake me up. It would put a smile on my face and it would get me in that positive mindset for the day. And what I also do, in addition to, to affirmations, is for me, I'm a believer in God. I'm a believer in a higher power and a, and a positive universe. So every morning I write out a letter to God and dear God, thank you and thank you for and all the things I'm grateful for in my life. And also all the things I'd like to achieve in my life. You know, I'll write those, write them down almost daily as I'm making a cup of coffee in the morning. And, you know, I have a pad of paper and pen right there so I can just start writing. And once again, it puts me in a good state of mind uh, to go out there on the day and be positive and proactive in an attempt to achieve all the goals that I'd like to achieve. And simultaneously puts me in a good mood. So I hope this segment is once again, inspirational and informative. And I'd also love to hear from you. Like tell, share with us in this, what I'm hoping to create a community here on this channel is share with us things that you might do as far as mindset or things sometimes maybe that you're challenged by and keeping a positive mindset or creating that environment that you like, or some of the books or audios or things that you've learned from others, as I have, that have inspired me, have taught me to be the person that I am today, and hopefully be the person that's helping you and your life as well. So share with us on this page, subscribe to this channel. I hope you find it informative, and uh, stay tuned for the next lesson. Have a great day.